Hello everyone, this is Zach with MTG Poke Hero. Today we're going to be continuing our Exelon spoiler series. Um, I'm really excited because we've got all caught up, so now we're going to be able to go through daily videos of Exelon spoilers as they're released to be able to give to you. Our first spoiler for the day is Vicious Conquistador. It is a black for a creature vampire soldier. Uncommon, whenever Vicious Conquistador attacks, each opponent loses one life. And it is a 1-2. All in all, this is a pretty decent little vampire. Uh, it'll definitely go in limited for sure. Just with that, be able to lose one life whenever attacks is a great ability. Uh, it'll definitely see standard play too. It probably won't just be in the vampire sector. We might have like a red black aggressive deck. Maybe this will take place at the midnight lookout from Kaladesh. All in all, it's a pretty decent card and I like it. I love how you can see he just looks angry the whole entire time, and you can tell his two boys in the back are backing him up. So all in all, it's a pretty decent little card. Uh, you'll definitely be playing it in your standard vampire decks, and as well as in limited. Our next card that we have is River Sneak. So for one and a blue, it is a creature merfolk uncommon. River Sneak can't be blocked. Whenever another merfolk enters the battlefield under your control, River Sneak gets plus one, plus one until end of turn, and it's a one, one. I'm actually kind of excited about this um, because we've got that enchantment for Merfolk. So every time you cast a Merfolk, you get a gain, uh, create another 1 1 Merfolk with Hexproof. Um, I think this has some potential in that deck. It's definitely really good and limited if you're building the Merfolk deck. Uh, standard, I think this would probably go in their two drop slot as well with a couple of the green Merfolk that they have. All oh, it's really cool. I'm excited about it. It's something that you definitely want to keep. It gets bigger. It synergizes well with all your merfolk. You play a whole bunch of merfolk the whole entire time. This thing can end up being a monster that just becomes unblockable, especially if you've got more than one. So that's really cool. And we'll definitely see this card. I bet it will have more play than what people look at and realize it will. The next one is Andanto Vanguard. So for one in a white, it's a uncommon creature vampire soldier. As long as Andento Vanguard is attacking, it gets plus two, plus O. Oh. And then you can pay for life, and Andento Vanguard gains indestructible until end of turn. And it's a 1 1. So basically, you get a 3 2 for 2. Or I'm sorry, a 3 1 for 2. I, I really like the artwork because he's just stabbing what looks to be the equivalent of a Velociraptor. And the guy is trying to hold on, but he's not going to be able to make it. And it looks like he's following into a river in the background. Um, I think white, like maybe like a white black aggressive deck for limited, seems to be shaping up pretty well. Um, as far as this goes in the vampire deck, it's possible, but I don't know if this is where they want to be at. You can probably put in a couple copies and have it really hyper aggressive and be able to pay for life to be able to gain indestructible. Um, so that way you can survive a couple board wipes. I mean, that's still pretty good. and. Vampires seem like they're going to have a lot of, you know, gaining life abilities, um, possibly from the way they're trying to make everything look at. Um, just with their whole entire the pay life aspect to be able to gain an ability. So it seems like they want to kind of cover you a little bit. So I think we're going to be getting a lot of more like lifelink vampires here in the future, hopefully. But all in all, you'll play it in limited uh, and play it possibly in standards a couple of. Um, and... The new Vampire EDH deck is just getting so much out of this set, which is awesome. The next one is Imperial Lancer. It is one white, and as long as Imperial, as long as you control a dinosaur, Imperial Lancer gains double strike as a one one. The Naya Dinosaurs deck is more than likely going to happen, and as far as this being in there, uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. It's still a pretty cool card, you know, being able to turn a one one into a two two for one. Um, it's not a bad deal. You just have to have another dinosaur on the field, and we've got some cheap dinosaurs, like Raptor Hatchling, that can basically, you know, replace itself if something happens. Um, I'm, the only thing I'm really worried about the Naya Dinosaur deck is just the mana fixing. I'm not sure if this is where you want to be on turn one. Um, I think for that deck, you kind of want to be going higher, but I definitely think this is going to be really good at limited, because we just saw couple cards before this, you know, the vampire and the other, uh, actually both vampires, were both really good, and I think a white-black limited deck is going to happen and probably where people are, might want to draft. It's just a heads up for you guys. 
I don't know. We'll see where it goes. <laughs> the next one is makeshift munitions for one and a red. It's an enchantment. Pay one, sacrifice an artifact or creature. Makeshift munitions deals one damage to target creature or player. It's an uncommon. I love how it's just the monkey and he is stuffing in the heads that Veraska used to turn all of his opponent, all of her enemies into stone. He's just stuffing them in the cannon. I think it's funny. Um, it's a pretty decent card. Um, we're probably not going to see this in standard just because the one damage for one is okay, but I don't think you really want to be sacrificing creatures in like an aggressive red deck. Maybe in limited we can see this uh, if you can buy some creatures back, but we really don't see a lot of creature buyback, and there's a lot of graveyard hate uh, that's going to be in standard. Uh, even in limited, there's going to be graveyard hate, and there's barely anything that comes back. So, oh, that's a pretty cool card. I just really think the artwork is funny. It's like he's trying to cover his eyes as he's shoving his head into the cannon. But, oh no, it's a pretty decent card, and I'm excited. I just really like the artwork on this. Oh, <laughs> so I saw somebody make the the reference to this to Reality Smasher. Um, obviously, it's not Reality Smasher. It is Charging Monstrosasaur. So for 4 and a red, for a creature dinosaur, uncommon. It has Trample Haste, and it's a 5-5. Five five. I really like how in the World Builder, we actually got to see the artwork for this card developed. And above where the Tyrannosaurus is actually biting, there used to be like a flying... Uh, siren, fairy, something of that effect, and just to be able to watch this, and this guy is trying to book it. We all know how this ends up, though. Everybody tries to get away from it in Jurassic Park, and they still get it. Um, I could see this being in the Naya Dinosaur deck, red-green dinosaurs. You know, um, we're going to be able to possibly get this out as soon as turn three, um, which is really awesome, uh, just because there's so many mana ramp guys in those decks um oh no i like it it's a cool card trample haste for five five uncommon um it goes well with everything i would definitely see this in red green dinosaurs for sure um and splashable in the night so you'll be playing it limited probably be playing it in standard i don't think he's going to make it to those boats our last card of the evening that got spoiled is captivating crew so for three in a red you get a creature human pirate for a rare. You can play three in a red. You gain control of target creature and opponent controls until the end of the turn. You get an untap that creature. It gains haste until the end of the turn. Activate this ability only any time you would cast a sorcery, and it's a 4-3. I really think this is interesting because, you know, we've had cards like Hijacked, Act of Treason, um, what is it, Harnessed by Storm, I think was the other one, and then uh, Eldrazi Obligator. It's kind of what it feels like it's trying to replace this Eldrazi Alligator. I like that you have a continual sink that you can keep taking their stuff, which I think is really cool. Um, all, this thing's going to put a target on its head really quickly. Um, it's definitely a limited card for sure. You know, just being able to take your opponent's best card and limit it and take it like, nope, that's mine for the turn. That's pretty cool. Or if you even have like some kind of sacrificing effect, if you had to like sacrifice your own creature like with the uh, ammunitions. Yeah, so for basically five mana, you steal their guy and you blow it up, dealing one bit damage back to them. I know that's kind of a lot of mana just for that, but it's still something to think about in limited. All in all, it's a pretty decent card. Uh, you probably won't see standard play, but we will definitely see this card in limited. And he looks pretty cool. He's definitely, looks like he's trying to get the crowd going. And there's definitely a guy playing a fiddle in the background while a couple other people are dancing. And I like how the big guy up front with the bald head is just sitting there and all because he's like his buddy's just dancing away. Anyways, guys, um, that was all the spoilers that we got for today, uh, September 12th. All in all, this set is really shaping up. Uh, we got a lot of aggressive cards today. Uh, really looking at them for limited. Definitely want to get ready for some standard building. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys like the video, just like, subscribe. Um, you know, tell your friends about us. We're really trying to grow a little bit. Hopefully, we're going to be doing some other videos here pretty soon. That's not just Ixalan spoilers, but that's going to be our main focus for a little bit. We'll start doing some deck techs and some deck building. So if you guys want to see certain decks or 
decks or how you want them to be played, go on ahead and sit there and put a comment down in there. All in all, may the top decks be forever in your favor. Thanks, and have a good day.